Welcome back as we continue our exploration of New Smyrna Beach. We're going to show you why this trip offers so much outdoor adventure for your family. Yes, instead of theme parks and crowds, you're going to experience breathtaking nature. From saltwater dunes to a marine discovery center where you can see animals in their natural habitats and more. Take a look. Our first stop on our outdoor adventure through New Smyrna Beach is the incredible Marine Discovery Center. Can you believe not that long ago this whole area was an old high school? Chad Truxall is the executive director of the Marine Discovery Center. This used to be a high school? This used to be a high school. Yeah, 2,000 students and it went offline in 2006. If we come here, we can also take one, a great family activity. You would take, go out on your cruise, on your boat? Yeah, it's a big thing. So uh, we call it our floating classroom. It's just a great way to, whether you want to enjoy a sunset tour that we do, you know, twilight sunset hours, um, or go back in the mangroves and learn a little bit more about, you know, what makes this place so special. The Indian River Lagoon, like I said, is just a really special place. Uh, uh, we've deemed as, as Floridians and as the federal government that we this place is worth protecting. And so whether it's habitat restoration, reducing pollution, showcasing the beautiful, you know, diversity that we have here in, in our backyard, that's what these tours do. In our short while here, we saw amazing birds like this brown pelican. So that's a juvenile brown pelican flying across. And we can tell juvenile just because of the little white on the chest, little model color. And that's a little blue heron that's flying across. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? There are beautiful vistas to see as you hike this special spot, and it's a great place to learn about the ocean. We found out oysters are way more than an appetizer. Here they use the shells of the oysters that you enjoy on vacation to help preserve the ocean. Just one shell can filter up to 50 gallons of water. So these piles will clean a lot of ocean. This is part of the shuck and share program. These are all the shells from the restaurants. And they're gonna use them to conserve the marine habitat. Our next outdoor adventure takes us out on the water for the Turtle Mound River Tour. So named because of this mound that looks like a turtle filled with oysters and refuse from prehistoric people. It's on the U.S. Register of National Historic Places. Scott and I bundle up because of the Arctic blast, but nothing could get in the way of the natural beauty we saw with Captain Bill Rostick. This is a saltwater estuary. It's not a river, it doesn't flow just moves up and down and it is one of the largest saltwater estuaries in the entire country. If manatees are what you want to see, the Turtle Mound Tour will be a great one to take. Today it's a bit cold for them, but usually they come out in droves. We'll actually stop the boat, anchor the boat, and the manatees will come to the boat. We'll spend about a half an hour letting people take pictures. You can also see dolphins and plenty of bird life in the lush mangroves. And the reason they call it a walking tree is those mangroves on both sides here will eventually close off this waterway because they'll just keep propagating further and further out into the water. We loved our boat tour despite the chill and it's a great and affordable way to get a big crew together. Next, we headed off to a must-see spot for another unforgettable outdoor adventure. These are the Smyrna Dunes. 184 acres of protected land. And there's two miles of easily accessible walking trails. What an incredible place. Yes, you have to visit this if you come to New Smyrna Beach. It is absolutely wonderful. And just over my shoulder, that is the most biologically diverse waterway in North America. It didn't take long for us to spot dolphins playing together in the water. These dunes are also known as a great place to fish. And this inlet is also a haven for surfers. Now, if you Google New Smyrna, Florida, no doubt you might see it's also known for sharks. But surfers here don't worry about that. They say they are the smaller, kinder variety. And remember Chad from the Marine Discovery Center? He tells us they are proud some sharks call these waters home because it's evidence of a healthy ocean. In the end, we will conserve only what we love. We will love only what we understand. And we understand only what we've been taught. Right, so if we don't know, then maybe we're like, oh, we're, we're afraid of it, right? And that's what fear is. is fear is usually things that we don't know. So our whole idea is like, let's take the fear out of it, let's educate people, let's make them more aware, and then that will lead to ultimately conservation. We want to care about it. After this incredible day, we'll certainly sleep well tonight and can't wait for the sun to rise on so many more New Smyrna adventures tomorrow.
And thank you to Eric Budney, who's been our wonderful photographer and videographer. Yeah, through. getting all those incredible shots, shots. from he the got sunrise, up early to get, oh everything. Oh my gosh, so really amazing. Really great. So lucky. He's very talented. Our adventures in New Smyrna Beach are not over yet. Tomorrow, we're taking the fun inside mm -hmm. for some of the wonderful cultural things you can do. Maybe see something on a rainy day, or if you just need a little break from all that sunshine. Yeah, and if you want to take your own getaway to New Smyrna Beach, now is your chance. And to right now on our WFSB Facebook page, we're going to announce a new qualifier each day this week and we're going to reveal the big winner Monday. Yeah, so right, go to the WSB Facebook page right now. Now, today's qualifier is Louisa from Stratford. Louisa, I don't want to butcher your last name, Louisa with an F. Um, <laughs> so we're so happy you are one of the qualifiers. Again, you can enter right on the WFSB Facebook page right now. We're going to announce the final qualifier tomorrow, and then make sure you're watching Monday. You'll find out who wins this expense-paid vacation. Incredible. All right, still ahead on this Thursday afternoon.